Um, I'm back again. Um, sorry about not posting last month's crate. It, uh, I went to go submit it onto YouTube and it vanished. So, I guess we're just kind of going to have to miss a month. Um, I have this month's crate, however, right here. It just came in today. Um, have yet to see what's in it. So, here we go. Okay, now, all of you know, hopefully, that uh, the new set, Magic Origins, came out this past weekend. Um, with that, it goes into the detailed history of the five Planeswalkers that we've come to know and love. Uh, Gideon, Jace... Chandra, Liliana, and Nyssa. Um, and so with that, I guess uh, Fantasy Crate sort of did something nice for us. They sent us four packs this month. One being an Origins pack, and then three of them being Dragons of Tarkir. Um, also included uh, is a... It appears to be the white intro deck which comes with two more Origins Booster Packs. Uh, the white intro deck, uh, all the intro packs for Magic Origins have the mentors of the Five Walkers. Uh, you have Hyksis, who trained Gideon, who was Kytheon before he ascended. Um, now Hyksis is a, was the Prison Warden. Uh, he's a 4-4 four -four for white and for white, white, three with flash. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to you, if he entered the battlefield this turn, exile that creature until he leaves. So, for standard, what that means is, oh, you just hit me with a bunch of things on the ground, uh, bunches of elves, bunches of goblins, and I'll just oblivion ring all of them. And I think there's one more thing in here. They sent me a Liliana Ultra Pro deck box. Um, I've actually kind of accumulated a lot of these recently. I have a Soltai one that I've gotten from them. I also have a Sarkhan Unbroken one that I have gotten from them. So, this is my uh, third box now. I guess I'm just going to keep having to build decks to throw in them. Alright, well I'm going to take you through right now the uh, cards that are in this intro pack before I go through my individual packs. Uh, for any of you who have never gotten an intro pack before, what it comes with is the deck itself, a little uh, you are a planeswalker thing that they still have, and they've only I seen I've only seen them in here. This one particularly talks about how the planeswalker spark ignites, and it gives the deck list for all five of them. Now, for this one in particular, it also, uh, I know Hyksis is our main card here, but it also gives us an Outland Colossus, uh, which is pretty cool. I like Renown. It's an ability that they came out with. Um, whenever it deals damage, whenever this creature deals damage to a player, if it isn't renowned, put six counters on it and it becomes renowned. Well, this one's renowned six, so you put X counters where X is its renowned and it becomes renowned. Um, Outland Colossus is a five green green three for a six six that can't be blocked by more than one creature. Um, I guess this is sort of their way of saying, Siege Rhino, I'm going to block you, or attack you. Uh, comes with Anointer of Champions, Cleric of the Forward Order, Topin Free... 
Okay, Cleric of the Forward Order. Um, those cards like Accumulated Knowledge where, oh, if you have these in your grave, you draw extra cards. This works for the battlefield. Um, when it enters, you gain two life for each creature you control named Cleric of the Forward Order. It's a white one for a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, Knight of the Pilgrim's Road, Stalwart Avon, Valoran, Warden, Citadel, Castilian, Castellan, Heavy Infantry, Patron of the Valiant, Sentinels of the Eternal Light, Vastwood Gorger. Let's see what spells it comes with here. Two Enshrouding Mists, uh, Grasp of the Hieromancer. White one enchantment aura enchant creature enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and has whenever this creature attacks tap target creature defending player controls. Huh. Valley of Acros or Valor in Acros. The um one card called Kathar's Crusade, which puts a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control whenever a creature uh, this sort of does the same thing, except it doesn't give them counters, it gives them plus one, plus one until end of turn. For white and three, instead of white, white, three. And really, that's about all the spiffiness this deck came with. Um, that being said, there are also six packs that I have to open now. Um... I think I'm going to start with dragons, that way, oh, a little bit of the old, and I'll show you a little bit of the new. Okay, so our first pack, if I don't spill it everywhere, uh, Scream Screech Brawler, Light Walker, Zephyr Scribe, Pinion Feast, Revealing Wind, Vandalize, Fate Forgotten, Flatten. I really like Flatten. Uh, I think they tried to do something cool with it. Uh, they made a rare called Languish. I don't know if you'll be able to see the text on this or not. Uh, it says target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn for black and three. Languish hits all creatures, but it's, it's kind of bad because it doesn't hit Siege Rhino. I mean, yeah, it's a, oh, instant speed, your Siege Rhino does nothing for a turn. What are you going to do the next turn about it, though? Uh, Ancient Cart, Pacifism, Press the Advantage, Lurking Aranix, Skywise Teaching, and my rare is Commune with Lava. I guess this is great if you're playing EDH and you just have lots of mana that you can uh, pour into casting spells. For Red Red X, you exile the top X cards of your library. Until the end of your next turn, you may play those cards. So they give you a little bit of a uh, little bit of a buffer by saying until your next turn. Or the end of your next turn. Pack two. I have a dutiful attendant, Impact Tremors. Uh, Impact Tremors is going to be really great with all the new Goblin cards. Well, not new Goblins, but Pile Driver makes this card a lot better. Um, red and one enchantment. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, this deals one damage to each opponent. Uh, so a lot of people are going to start playing Rabble Masters, Dragon Fodders, Hordling Outbursts just to get the uh, effects of Goblin Pile Driver up. And this is sort of their way to say, oh, you now take one damage just from those creatures entering. So it's kind of like the Goblin Tokens have haste. Um, Student of Ojutai, Dragon Scarred Bear, Zephyr Scribe Pacifism, Epic Confrontation, Atarka Ifrit, Fell Tongue Shriek, which I've seen splashed in a... Uh, Apparently they're trying to do some weird red, green, black, like a Jund type goblin deck. Um, Foul Tongue Shriek, Black Instant, target opponent loses one life for each attacking creature you control. You gain that much life. 
Um, so you swing with a bunch of goblins and you make them lose a life for each creature. And it's just a life gain effect for you. Uh, reducing stature. The Lurent Plague. I like this enchantment. Black 2. Creature tokens get minus 2, minus 2. Um, I could possibly see this being played in a few decks. Um, elves probably being the main one. You play this uh, in black green elves just to get rid of goblin decks, even if it's a sideboard card. Um, then we have a rending volley, a minister of pain, and my rare is dragon lord. Alright, cash back. Flying trample, uh, eight eight for seven red green five. Whenever it enters, it deals 5 damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers your opponent controls. It's just really good. I got beat out by that when I went to the open. A lot. Pack 3. Okay, I have a Champion of Erishin... Grave Purge. There's a Dragon Fodder. Uh, Avon Tactician. Anticipate. Colossodon Yearling. <clears throat> Vultress Avon. Mist Hoof Kirin. Ojutai Summons. Evolving Wilds. Echoes of the Kintry. Savage Ventmaw. Ambush Skade Shaman. And then Profaner of the Dead. Um, so I'm thinking... Red blue artifacts is going to be good. Uh, here's a card that may be good sideboard tech since uh, Aether Spouts is going out. You uh, throw something like Guardians of A or Coloss or what's that one card? Guardians of Miletus that they reprinted in Origins for some reason. And then you play Profaner of the Dead for blue and four, or blue and three, it's a three three, you exploit your um, Guardians of, Melet of Melitus and return all return to their hands all creatures your opponents control with toughness less than the exploited creature's toughness. So for blue and three, sacrificing a zero six you get to return all creatures with power or with toughness. Wait. With toughness less than six to their owner's hand. That hits Siege Rhino, that hits uh, every goblin, every elf. It's just a really good bounce effect. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go into my first Magic Origins pack. Um, I played uh, release day for this. I played one of the pre-release days for it. it j it's a really fun limited format, but I'd rather open the packs, have a potential of pulling something like Liliana or Chandra... <clears throat> Or even Nyssa. Nyssa, when I last checked, which was last Friday, was at 26. So, we'll see how this goes. My first card here is Healing Hands. Um, Deadbridge Shaman. Nivix Barrier. Timber Pack Wolf. Scrapskin Drake. Vine Snare. Cleric of the Forward Order. Uh, Lightning Javelin. Shambling Ghoul. Uh, calculated Dismissal. Blue and two, counter, it's an instant speed, counter target spell unless its controller pays three. And then they have this new thing called Spell Mastery. New mechanics, you know, they're found everywhere. Um, if there are two or more instants and or sorceries in your grave, you get to scry two with this one. So not only are you getting a counter spell, but you're also getting essentially two temple drops that don't give you mana. 
Uh, Murderous Investigation, which is a reprint from the Return to Ravnica block. Goldforged Sentinels, Blessed Spirit, and then my rare is a Starfield Nyx. <clears throat> so, white and four for an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may return target enchantment from your grave to the battlefield. As long as you control five or more enchantments, each other non-aura enchantment you control is a creature in addition to its other types that has a base power and toughness equal to its converted mana cost. Let's see... I think we just had Firo still in until the fall. That's a lot of enchantments to hit. And if you're playing like something like white, blue, green enchantments for some reason... I know white and green enchantments are going to be a thing, at least. You're going to have uh, Sigil of the Empty Throne, which is another reprint. That gives you a 4-4 Angel whenever you play an enchantment. However, that's also now a 6-drop. Uh, on to my second pack. Both of these packs were from the intro deck. And it looks like we're sticking to the same way here. Healing Hands, Dead Bridge Shaman. Okay, I'm happy they reprinted this. Smash to Smithereens. Red and 1, instant speed, destroy target artifact, smash does, or smash to smithereens does 3 to that artifact's controller. It's really going to be a lot of sideboard against red-blue artifacts. I don't see too many people that would play this in uh, main board. Uh, Ampyrin Tactician, Negate, Aerial Volley, Fiery Impulse. It's another Spell Mastery card. Um, Return Centaur, Wild Instincts, Guardian Automatons, Tormented Thoughts. Ooh, Goblin Glory Chaser. Red, on, it's a single red, 1-1, one, one, Renown 1. So whenever it would deal damage to a player, if it isn't renowned, put a counter on it and it becomes renowned. As long as it's renowned, it has Menace. Menace is another new mechanic, essentially like Intimidate. Except for the fact that instead of, oh, artifacts and color only, uh, it can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. <clears throat> then I got a Valor Valoron Wardens again, and a... Oh, hey, we were just talking about uh, Flatten. Here's Languish. So, Black Black 2, Sorcery Speed, all creatures get minus 4, minus 4 until end of turn. They have it sitting at 10. I don't see it sitting there too much longer. Um, it's just, <clears throat> since it can't get rid of a 4-drop Siege Rhino, it's really not worth playing. <coughs> At least not for 10 bucks. Then on to my last pack. Uh, we have a Weight of the Underworld. Infectious Bloodlust. Screeching Scab. Vastwood Gorger. Heavy Infantry. Prickle Bore. Um, so, Reeve Soul. Reeve Soul is a black one sorcery. Destroy target creature power three or less. So I'm seeing, let's kill Goblin Pile Drivers, let's kill Elves, let's kill Rabble Masters. There's a lot that that hits in black. Or that can hit. I mean, it hits a lot of the uh, artifact stuff, too. Then we have, pardon me, uh, Dreadwaters. They're bringing back the milling. Um, blue 3 sorcery speed target player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her grave where X is the number of lands you control alright uh, then we have rock smallers kytheon tactics 
Psychic Rebuttal. Uh, blue one, instant speed, counter an instant or sorcery that targets you. And then Spell Mastery. So two or more instants or sorceries in my grave. Uh, you may copy the spell countered this way and you may choose new targets. I'm going to choose to go ahead and counter your Stoke the Flames and then hit you with your own Stoke. Uh, Call of the Full Moon, flashback to Innistrad. Um, at the beginning of your upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells this turn, you sacrifice it. And it's an aura for red and one. Enchant a creature, it gets plus three, plus two, and trample. Okay, then we have a Thopter Engineer. I really like this card. Um, there's something about the artificers that they released being red that just it's really fun. When it enters, put a 1-1 Thopter token onto the field with flying. And then it gives all your artifact creatures haste for red and two for a 1-3. Not bad. And then we hit my rare, which is a Harbinger of the Tides. Blue, blue, it's a 2-2. Two, two. You may cast it as though it had flash if you play two more. And when it enters, you may return target tapped creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. I stopped playing blue-green devotion. And then they came out with this card. I don't know what to say about it. It just. I don't like it so much just for the fact that it's like one of the few cards that they printed that's merfolk. And so we have this elves versus goblins versus artifacts. Well, we'll see where all that goes. Um, signing out, it's Sean. I'll see you guys next time.